at you with another hot Kai NPC Renaissance tutorial. And today's topic is going to be about transposing your melodies, your chords, or whatever. You. Um, transposing is, is a really simple technique. All it is is taking your melody and playing it in a different key at a given point in time. Um, many of the earlier trap beats, you know, um, use this technique. I know a lot of movie, scary movies use this technique. So if you're not really too familiar with, you know, chords and music theory, there's still a way that you can play your melodies in another key and it's called transposing because that's what it is. You're just transposing. You're just playing a melody in one key and switching it in a different key at a given point in time. Okay, so for this example, we're going to use a four bar loop. And, uh, we're going to transpose the last two bars. So the first two bars is going to be playing normal, and the last two bars is going to be down the key. You know, this gives it a like like a, a, a scary effect, so to speak. Okay, for example, um, let's start out with a four bar loop. Fix this first one right here. Hold on, we gotta fix this. Okay, now everything should play on time. Sounds nice, right? Sounds nice, but you know, it's too repetitive. It's it's too friendly, you know what I'm saying? So let's give it a darker feel. Um but we're only gonna transpose the last two bars. So the first two bars is gonna play normal. This bar right here and this bar right here. This is where I want my transposition to happen. Through three and four. So we're gonna go to sequence edit, hit pass six to transpose, look at your screen. And the transpose option comes up. And it's pretty basic, simple. It just tells you you're on sequence one, track two. And the only thing we're going to change is the time. Because the time is on the first bar. And I want my transposition to happen on the third bar. So, we're going to click. We're going to change the first bar to Three. So zero zero one will become zero zero three and it says through five. So that's my two bars. Three through five is my two bars because I want my transposition to happen at the third bar and it's going to carry over all the way to the fourth bar in, in the end of the fourth bar. So on this note, on the transpose option, it gives you the option to transpose up some and down some I want it to have a scary feel so I'll, I'm gonna just transpose it minus let's go minus two alright and we're gonna hit no let's hit minus alright yeah minus one I transpose it an octave one octave below so I'm gonna hit do it and as you can tell everything that moved down one so when I play it it'll sound different now if you want it to even sound a little bit darker go back sequence edit hit trans you know transpose pad six and let's take let's take let's take it down let's take it down another one let's go to two minus two where we want the transposition to happen we want it to happen at bar three so we're gonna hit do it and as you can tell everything went down 
So we're going to play it again and see how it sounds. Sounds scary, right? Yeah, I like that. You know what I'm saying? So now you can just... And that's how you do it. That's how you transpose people. It's just as simple as that. Like I said, y'all, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it down. Do what you do. But if you ain't got got it right now, NPC Renaissance, <laughs> you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Peace.